In this video, I'm going to show you how you can talk to Google Cloud in plain English and create a Compute Engine VM without writing a single G Cloud command. I literally say create a VM and Google Cloud will do it for me. So how is it even possible? Recently, Google Cloud launched an MCP server for Compute Engine and this is a big deal for cloud and DevOps engineers. So first, what exactly is an MCP server? An MCP server or model context protocol is a broker that sits between your AI model and the actual platform. In this case, platform is Google Cloud. When you type something in plain English, the MCP server translates that request into a specific tool call and executes it securely on Google Cloud using real APIs and real permissions. So instead of writing CLI commands or scripts, you can simply say what you want done. Now let's look at the demo. Now let's look at the demo and it's going to be very simple for you to set it up on your Google Cloud project. Using Cloud, you're going to interact with uh, your GCP project via MCP server. If you do not have a GCP project, then you can create one. I already have one. Now go to the service accounts. So here we're going to use one of the service account so that uh, the Cloud can start the MCP server and the MCP server is going to interact with your GCP project using the service account keys. But this is not the secure way because you're going to create a key and it's going to be long lasting. There must be other way using WIF, which is Workload Entity Federation, which I haven't explored it yet. But if you, maybe if you can try it out in your PC and let me know if you have tried it out or let me know if you want me to create that tutorial where instead of using service account keys, we can use Workload Entity Federation to securely connect to the GCP project. So in any way, uh, if you do not know how to create a service account key, then please do watch my previous video on how to do that. It's very simple. I already have a service account and I already have created a key for it. The next thing that you want to do is go to IAM and paste the service account that you've created. For instance, in my service account that, that I'm currently using for the demo, it has multiple permissions. Ideally, you should only give compute admin or required permissions for the MCP server to interact. Let's say in this case, it's only Compute Engine, so you want to give only Compute Engine. Uh, BigQuery, admin, BigQuery admin or Secrets Manager, SSR are additional permissions which are not required for this demo. So Compute Admin is enough and uh, MCP tool user, this permission is needed as well. So give these two permissions. So that's about it from the console perspective. So next thing is, we have to go to Cloud. So either you can use Cloud or you can also use Cursor for this demo. I'm using Cloud because previously also I have uh, set up one MCP server for Kubernetes. So once you have the Cloud installed, click on the hamburger on the top left hand side and go to open app config file. Since I'm running Cloud on Windows, if you're using Cloud on your Mac or any Linux environment, the configuration file is going to be totally different. But I have created configuration files both for Mac or Linux and Windows as well because I'm using WSL for Windows. You're going to see the WSL command and uh, you know the arguments that you have to pass because MCP server requires you know Node installed. So install Node if you do not have all already and uh, install the latest version of Node and rest of the things that are required for the environment variables here. Again, I have documented this in my GitHub page and I'm going to paste the link in the description. So once the configuration is done, you want to restart your cloud. Then once you restart the cloud, uh, click on plus symbol, you will see multiple connectors. So previously I have MCP server for Kubernetes. Now this should show up successfully. If it, if it doesn't show up, go to the hamburger symbol again, check for open MCP log. Here you're going to see all the issues, why the MCP server was not able to start or you know if there are any specific permission issues related to your service account, everything that you're going to see here. So mostly the issues would be around uh, proper formatting of this JSON file because I have two MCP servers here, MCP server for Kubernetes and Google Cloud. In your case, you will not, uh, you will not use this section, you will only just have the Google Cloud, I mean Google Compute section. Um, and if there is any issue with this, then I highly recommend debugging this using, again, cursor or any of, your, any of your favorite AI editors so that you can quickly chat and fix it faster instead of manually debugging. So this might be one issue that you might face. And the other issue would be permissions, permissions related to your service account. Only these two are the issues. Now, once you set this up, you can 
enable the connector by disabling or enabling it here. And you can say, you can type now to interact with the GCP. So I can say like how many instances do I have? So two instances in a Google project, et cetera, which are already terminated. And you can say create instance So these are the arguments that it is going to pass um, to the API. You can fine tune this as well uh, by giving specific information to, to, to the, you can fine tune this as well by giving specific information that you need as part of the instance creation. And let's say I just want to go with the default here, allow once. Uh, this is okay because when you're trying to create a GCP instance, uh, you have to assign default service account to it. And uh, the service account that we're using to connect to GCP from MCP server doesn't have that permission. And that's why it is complaining, but otherwise it will just create a VM instance without specifying any service account, which is fine, we can also do it later. So now if you go back to the console and search for compute engine, VM instances and you see a new instance got created. Now I can say terminate the instance. So it is going to terminate it. Now I highly recommend going through the MCP reference compute engine, the MCP reference for compute engine APIs and there is also MCP server that they have created for um, Kubernetes. GKE specifically and if you want me to cover that tutorial, but it's the same thing. You can try multiple things on Kubernetes using you know, different tools that they have provided. For instance, for the Compute Engine, you can see the tools overview of create instance, delete instance, start, reset, etc., etc. And uh, same, I also recommend you to go through Google Cloud MCP servers overview. Um, and currently they have BigQuery, Compute Engine, and GK MCP servers, and probably Google uh, Maps MCP, MCP servers as well, and uh, Google Maps MCP servers as well. Now if I go back, so instance terminated successfully, and now if I go back and refresh, the instance got terminated. So this is a quick tutorial of uh, the MCP servers that Google Cloud has recently launched. I highly recommend trying this out in your um, laptop as a fun little project and play around with it. And I hope you'll have uh, fun playing around with different MCP commands and maybe you can try starting the GK MCP server as well. I hope you, you like this video, give it a like and uh, thank you for watching this video.